Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create an internal cutout in a ring, reducing the weight of the metal and ultimately its cost in materials like gold or silver. Let's get to work. I start by using the boolean command to merge the ring components. Then I recalculate the ring's mesh. I clone the ring and apply a mask approximately in the center. In the mask settings, I input a negative thickness value. With these settings, I click split and remove this part. It's essential to recalculate the mesh by pressing the voxel button. Then select the split brush, ensuring that the fill holes option is turned off. I cut off this section and delete it. Next, I click on these three points and press separate. I remove the top part and recalculate the mesh. In the material settings, I uncheck inverse culling. If you have my brush, you can smooth the model like this. Or simply use the smooth tool. Then, I enable a cylinder that controls the ring's size. Using my Move Pro brush, I move the polygons inward the cylinder. If you don't have my brush, select the standard Move brush and adjust its settings as follows. Now, using the boolean command, I merge the cylinder and this part. I turn on the cloned ring from earlier and cut it using the boolean command. Our ring will now have reduced metal weight, making it more cost effective. Ensure you control the wall thickness, aiming for a value around 0.8 millimeters. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials and creative journeys. Stay tuned for more amazing content, and until next time, happy sculpting!